Rogers, 36 points for the game. The alley oop for Roger Smith. The athletic Roger Smith. He did extremely well there. He flew high, got control of the ball in the air, and shot as well. 22 point ball game. Copeland, a massive three pointer. So coming off the bench, it hasn't come off. And, uh, so, you know, the players can make the cases look good. They certainly had tonight. Gaze running. Pulls up for three. Andrew Gaze on target. I should preface that by saying Bruce Palmer didn't say it's probably not a permanent move. Smith's done a, a great job for them starting this year. And Gaze wants to knock that net out and does. Well, he's decided to take it all on his own now, Andrew Gaze. The last one's a big three-pointer, and then that layup. They just need to, uh, defensively, the Melbourne Tigers have been very, very soft tonight on defense. Heel takes on Whitehead. Whitehead comes away with the ball. Ray Gordon out there. For the Melbourne Tigers, Bracky, the big man. Such a dominant force near the basket. The 210 centimetres. Brackey can really do some damage. Terry, I was going to make the statement. If the Tigers can stop the Bullets next couple of times down, they won't stop them with defence like that. Then come down and make a couple of threes, then this game just takes on a whole different uh, complexion. So I, I don't think it will happen, especially with this big guy going to work inside. But he's missed it, so, but you never know. He goes Gordon. Time. Gordon pulls up for two. So he's already surpassed his average. The well, trouble is with, with players like Orr, there's a bad miss. The players like Andrew goes there or Loggins, you just expect it from them all the time. Great transition by the Brisbane Bullets. What about the assist from Shane Hill, a gem of a pass. Copeland. He's capable of cutting loose Leonard Copeland. Well, the Melbourne Tigers, there's not much structure out there in their offense. It's all individual uh, plays by Leonard Copeland and also Andrew Gaze. Well, 13 points at the moment. Shane Frolling out there gets the pass to Hill. Hill did well to get control. Loggins, another second chance for the Bullets. Take it on yourself, Leroy Loggins. The outlet pass for Gordon. The transition, quick. So he definitely has taken it upon himself. Look at Dave Colvin. It was a big aggressive move along the baseline. Good defense from Loggins there. Got back, good transition. Knocked that ball away from Leonard Copeland. He had an easy path to the basket if he got that one. The big dunk there attempted by Colbert didn't come up. Okay, he's weaving his way past Lawrence and Nine-point ball game. So well, let's now go into the bonus situation. Nine-point ball game, 108 to 99. The Tigers, they're coming back at Brisbane. Down to the muddy end of this game and we are in great finish the Melbourne Tigers coming back Copeland, Gaze, Bracky now they're coming into their own seven point ball game early all of a sudden well we rode them off at two and a half minutes to go they get a stop here Good players like Gaze and Copeland anything's capable Sibley's out there oh Gordon was there. The three-point attempt by Whitehead was good. 108, 104, four-point ball game. The Bullets have been in control of this game for all but really the final or the last two minutes. Now we're inside the final two minutes. What a finish. Logan, he won't panic under pressure. They can't make the basket. Heel trying to stop Gaze. He'll go for three. He makes it. Andrew Gaze, we have a one-point ball game. Hey, we have a ball game, let well, alone a one-point ball game. We thought this was going to be a good night one about ten minutes ago. But suddenly this game has come to life. We said it was going to be a great contest, but it's only been the last few minutes that it's come a close contest. So 
What happens now? Gotta try and work it. Keep the ball in Loggins' hand. He's been on fire tonight. He got into that big situation, Terry, the big lead. Now can he save the game for them? 110-107. This will tie it up. Woo! It ties it up. 110. Well, guys like Loggins, they will take it upon themselves to win a game. Well, Terry. How about Andrew Gaze? We said they contained him. He's got 45 points. He'll come make the three. They'll get a second chance. Shane just settles it down a bit. 45 big points for Gaze, 41 for Loggins. Loggins goes for the death, left hand shot. Bracky now, now he's leaping high above the basket. Isn't it amazing, I think a timeout call there. Over 10,000 people have packed in here. They thought they were going to see the Brisbane Bullets crush the Melbourne Tigers there at one stage. Now Palmer's on his feet, a contrast in coaches. Yeah, Jay is just sitting back with his feet crossed. 25 seconds remaining. They'll run the clock down. There's 15 seconds left on the shot clock. The Bullets must come up with a stop. They don't want to send Gaze to the free throw line either. Gaze will take it upon himself. Gets the oh. shot over. And no big surprise, a timeout has been made. Ray Gordon will get right in Shane Hill's face yeah. here. Full court pressure. Hill's got to try and get by Copeland. Five seconds left. Hill drives! Goals! They can't do it! It's a tight ball game. We are going to overtime. 112 apiece and take a bow, Shane Hill. He goes for the massive three under the basket. They can't come away with the ball. Tigers, Gaze, Copeland. Great play, three on one there. A lot of pressure on Dave Colbert. Took the big shot, tried the three to tie the ball game up. Five points to the Bullets. So now the pressure's on them, but not on Shane Hill. Shane Hill! The massive three-pointer. That's a two-point ball game. Did you see the look on Andrew Gaze's face? He just looked in bewildered at Shane Hill. Probably said, I thought I was the only one who could do that. Whitehead drives. Sibley in there to stop him. Sibley's nailed. They have to be careful who they do foul. They want to foul anybody. It's probably Dave Simmons, but uh, running out of time now. Right, he's missed that one. Oh, Colbert maintains control of the ball. They only have 20 seconds. Oh, Copeland went for the steal. Heel. Oh, can't make the oh, shot. It's all over now. It's all over. There goes Copeland. Yes! Slams it away. This is a huge victory for the Melbourne Tigers. They're not even going to play the last two seconds. The Tigers, they get the money. What a comeback. Andrew Gay says, what about that? First person over there to congratulate the Tigers, their old teammate in Robert Sibley. What a comeback. The huge crowd here have witnessed something special from the Melbourne Tigers. That was just one heck of an effort. You and me both. I think that when we got so far down, we threw caution to the wind. We had nothing to lose and we were playing like that and uh, we were able to carry it on through the extra time. And when you get a lead like that and, they, and you lose it like um, Brisbane did, they tend to get a little tight. And they got tight and we won the game.